Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you see this. This is Dee with INF Probably Insights. And today we're going to be talking about um, CPTSD and INFPs. A couple of things that I want to talk about and I have questions about and um, should be a walk and talk, I guess, but I'm going to process. I processed a lot of it. But I'd like for you all to help and See what, see what you think. So number one, what is CPTSD? Well, it's, um, we know what PTSD, most people know PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, and we usually think of it as people who have been through a major traumatic event, such as um, war, the military, um, Excuse me. Could be anything like a bad accident. Uh, those types of things um, that have happened to us, um, major events, and can cause PTSD, which result in can be. I'm not going to get into it a whole lot. You can Google it and research it and look on YouTube. There's a whole lot um, to deal with and to explain about that. But you know, it it causes us basically it. it it's a triggering you you get triggered um, you can you can have things like nightmares it can cause you to have substance abuse problems relationship problems all types of life problems it affects um, your relationships and your income and your mental health and all kinds of things yeah it's com it's a complicated thing but it happens as a result of a major trauma that you went through. Okay, so what's CPTSD? A lot of people, I think, mistakenly think that it's the C stands for child, child um, PTSD. Close, but really not. It stands for complex, complex PTSD. That you. And what's the difference? Complex PTSD, yes, usually does start in childhood. And it is, and it's not as major as a big boom effect of PTSD. It goes on, um, it's chronic as opposed to PTSD is acute. It'll go, it's a happening that happens, a, an accident, or you're in war, or you see a bad uh, thing uh, happen. Um, like a person get killed or something like that, that's very traumatic to you. And it can be different for different people. And not everybody that experiences get PTSD. And like I said, I'm not going to get into all that. We could be here for years. Um, but that's basically it. But CPTSD is, instead of acute, is chronic. That means it happens over a long period of time. And it's not as severe. It can be... Um, Starts usually in childhood, can be something as simple, I say simple, it, feeling wise it's not simple, but as um, a, a caregiver, like a parent, or your primary caregiver, whether it's a parent, grandparent, uh, foster care, wherever it is, um, neglect, will be neglectful, um, could be emotional, could be financial, could be physical. Uh, the hardest ones to detect a lot of times are the emotional. The emotional neglect over a period of a lifetime. And when you're developing, I mean a lifetime of childhood. <laughs> Your childhood lifetime. <laughs> over that period of day in, day out, not being seen, not being heard, can cause the damage. Because your brain is, is, is developing. And um, it can be it, it can be abused. It can be something as simple. I say simple. It's not, something like we wouldn't think anything of necessarily as being emotionally neglected, like a caregiver not paying attention to you. Um, you can grow up um, and have dysfunctional ways of viewing yourself with low self-esteem, suicide ideation, uh, drug abuse, all kinds of things to compensate for it, to survive it. Um, 
and um, we, the INFP creators, have talked about um, other ones. You have talked about um, your attachment styles. Attachment styles has a lot to do with that. It's going to reflect on that. Um, so it could be something like that all the way to physical abuse, real abuse. You're being beaten. You're being, you know, you don't have food. You don't have, that's the, that, you know, you don't have enough food. You don't have clothes. Um, the kids who are locked in, we, we see on the news once in a while, the kids that are locked in basement in a cage for years, and then they come out. I mean, that's totally severe. End up with CPTSD. Now, what my questions are, so that's the background. What my questions are about that is which came first, the INFP or CPTSD? Not to say all INFPs have CPTSD, but since it starts very young and it can start at birth, um, and in our development phase, uh, does... Um, CPTSD form us more or lean us more into an INFP personality type. Now it won't be that by itself. Um, I think FI users uh, might, but this is an INFP channel, so that's what I want to just stick with. Um, I'm not going to get into all the 16 personality types. So I'm not going to get into all that. Just INFPs. So, if you have CPTSD, is that going to lean, are you leaning towards an INFP personality type? Also, if you have INFP personality type and you're developing that anyway, does that lean towards you being more susceptible to developing CPTSD. Not everybody who, um, you can get a hundred people in a room and you can show them the same experience, have them have the same experience, and you can get a hundred different responses. So it doesn't affect the people the same way. But these are two things that, that I have coming up um, in my brain. And what I think, I think both can be right. I think there's some credence to both. Um, and I will say um, that, yeah, bring it into my own experiences because this is what I do. And this is what, F, this is what INFPs do. We explain the world according to our own experiences. That's what we do. So my own experience, yes, I will just say that uh, it is suspected from one psychologist I saw maybe 10 years ago because I was having a lot of having a lot of stomach problems. That's one of the reasons um, for the colonoscopy <laughs> is to see if I have anything physically going on, um, like IBD and all kinds of diseases I never heard have to do with having a colonoscopy. Uh, we're going to test for because I do have severe stomach problems. And I've had uh, most of my adult life. And um, I'm tired of being told it's things, just anxiety. So anyway, so I went to her, and she had a specialty in um, PTSD. So I went to her, not for PTSD, but I thought she might understand, why am I having all these stomach cramps? Every time I want to go somewhere... Um, I get excited if I've got somewhere to go, vacation or whatever. It's, um, you know, I, it's, this is TMI probably, but yeah, I get a lot of cramping and stuff going on. I get sick. So I went to her and um, she told me what she wanted me to do was um, she wanted me to go home and write down things that happened to me in my childhood and in my adulthood, actually, my, my whole life, um, what I would consider traumatic events. Okay. So I did, and I went home and did that. Brought it back, and um, 
She saw my list. It was a laundry list. It was not like one or two things. It was a laundry list of things that had happened. And um, she looked at it. I will tell you, and this may be a little triggering for some people, I will tell you that the most severe thing that I have experienced, and it was because it was at such a young age, I think. I was probably maybe seven, eight years old. We were traveling from North Carolina to Wisconsin to see my father's family. And uh, it used to take two and a half days to get there. We were somewhere like in Ohio, Indiana, Ohio, that, that area. And um, very early in the morning, it was still dark. And I, we saw an accident up ahead in the middle of nowhere on the highway of two tanker trucks. And um, one was full and one was empty. The full tanker truck cab turned over and the driver got trapped. And um, yeah, to this day I can hear him and see him in the truck on fire. Uh, so, you know, and the thing that really upset me at the time was that my family wasn't upset. And instead of protecting me, my father stopped, and he wanted us all to look and watch. And we could just go. We, the road wasn't blocked. We could have gone around. And, um, yeah, that was probably the worst thing. When she saw that, she asked me, she said, um, did you see this in person? Was this on TV? you see it in person? And I'm like, yeah, I saw it in person. I saw it, I saw it in person when I was real little. And, um, yeah. And that really upset me. Um, still does a little bit, but not. I think I've healed a whole lot because I saw something similar on TV recently, and it didn't bother me until I remembered that I wasn't reacting really bad to it like I used to. So maybe I am healing from it. But when she saw that, she's like, "Oh well, I can't help you." <laughs> I thought that's your that's your big thing. So, those are the types of things. You can also have PTSD, these boom effects within the CPTSD. When you feel like when you're going through life and you feel like um, and what's happening emotionally or whatever on a chronic basis, you can have acute things happen to you also. So, um, yeah, I do think that that does make us and going through that, I think. Um, and then just another thing of me, the that's an acute event I went through, but a chronic event I went through was that um, I wasn't seen or heard. It was just I had to go somewhere, you know. My mother, for example, uh, the, the only conversation I had with her my entire life where she it was a decent conversation and she wasn't critical or degrading me was the last conversation I had with her a couple of months before she passed away and she had Alzheimer's and she did not know who I was. Um, I decided not to go back to see her after that and to leave it at that that um, I finally got to have a good conversation with my mother. So yeah, um, you go through your whole life like that. That happens and it does affect us. It affects our relationships, affects our self-esteem, how we feel about each other, uh, eat ourselves. Um, it, it does affect our attachment styles. It affects everything. Our ability to work, ability to function, ability for everything. and. As I said, right now, as old as I am, I want to get to the bottom. I'm tired of having the stomach problems. Um, so we're going to get to the see if we can get to the bottom of it or if there is something going on with that. So that, that's why I'm going through all these testing with the GI person. Because um, I do want to heal. It's taken me all this long, so it's not going to be an easy process to heal. Um... So how do we heal? Um, first thing is try to get a support system. You don't have to tell people 
about it. Um, this is the first time I really told somebody outside a therapist. Um, most therapists don't know what to do either. And um, they're not trained. But just get somebody for support. I know you, so you support me. Um, so I, I feel safe saying this in front of you. And I will say, though, that nobody I know in real life knows I have this channel. I want to keep it that way so that I can be real. I can't totally be real to people who know me. If they were to see some of these videos, they would gaslight me. Um, I know that for a fact, and I want to be able to be myself in it. So they don't even know. But I know you support me, so any kind of support system... And you don't even have to tell them what your issue is, but have that in place is important, I think. Um, or either on um, YouTube. Um, I used to watch, a few years ago, I watched, I, I think she's interesting to watch. She's been through it herself. It's the Crappy Childhood Fairy. Um, she's good to watch. Uh, she will um, go step by step in people's letters that they write to her. And she dissects it sentence by sentence. That's a little much for me, but she is good about what she does um, because she has been through it herself. Um, that's the crappy childhood fairy. She's good, and she explains it so that people understand. Um, another thing is to have therapy, but have therapy. This is crucial. This is totally 1,000% crucial. Number one thing, if you go seek psychotherapy for PTSD or CPTSD, be sure it's someone who specializes in it and knows DBT therapy, dialectical behavioral therapy, not CBT. CBT will not work. Talk therapy, which I love and prefer, will not work. Uh, DBT. There are few and far between. Um, where I live, which is a major city, we've got everything. We're in the top, usually in the top five of everything. Places to live, health care, economy, you name it, we got it. Uh, we don't have um, those therapists specializes in PTSD that do DBT. There's one that I know in the whole county. I don't think she does it anymore because I've looked. I've been trying to go, well, I'm not now, but I was a year ago, let's say. Don't think there is one. So it's uh, DBT. That is all important to get a specialist in PTSD. And work just in general, work on yourself and be kind to yourself. So um, that's just what I want to have to say. Um, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Do you think um, does CPT, CPTSD have anything to do with our development as an INFP? Does our development as an INFP predispose us to CPTSD? Are we gullible, as I said in one of my former videos, uh, that people perceive us as being gullible? Our, our kindness and, and non-confrontational kind of personality sees us as being the breeding ground for somebody who's going to do that to a, a, um, abuse, neglect a child day in, day out. Now, I will have to say, and I'll leave it with, with this, growing up, and I don't know why, and that's another thing, we tend to defend the people who abuse us. We tend to defend them, and I I would be defending. I was brought up in an upper-middle-class household. I had everything I could want. I uh, had a roof over my head, food on the table, more clothes than I could ever wear. I had everything. I had everything but attention and love. I had everything but that. And um, so a lot of dysfunctions came out throughout my whole lifetime, um, mainly in my younger adulthood, teenage years, adulthood, when the rebel comes out usually, um, trying to figure it all out or see what's going on. But I did get through it, 
I am in my 70s for those who haven't watched before and I am still growing and I have decided in the past year I have decided that I'm going to get to the bottom of everything going on with me um, and um, hopefully the next 30 years I plan to be here in 30 years the next 30 years um, will be a whole lot more productive and a whole lot uh, happier and peaceful than the last 70. So on that, I will leave you. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Do love your comments. Let's get a conversation going. And um, until next time, stay safe.